News from around the region and from around the state, this is a Florida Focus News Brief. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Greg LaFountain. An online sting uncovered 13 child predators in Sarasota. The incident was part of Operation Intercept 4. The alleged predators reached out to detectives posed as underage boys and girls. They responded to internet ads, online apps, or social media sites. The men arrested ranged from ages 18 to 53. The Museum of Science and Industry has called North Tampa home for decades. That's about to change. Reporter Chuck Muller has more. Mosey's Board of Directors is assembling a task force. Their goal? To find the museum a new home in downtown Tampa. A site in the downtown area has yet to be determined. Mosey has previously needed government loans to maintain its Fowler Avenue location. Board members believe Mosey will have a brighter, more profitable future in an urban area. For WUSF, I'm Chuck Muller. Adult leaders with Fellowship of Christian Athletes are banned from Hillsborough County Schools. The ban comes after reports that the leaders were violating district policies. The policy in question states adults not employed with the district are prohibited from regularly attending or controlling student meetings. The ban will remain in effect during the investigation. Listening to the challenges Florida universities are facing, that's the goal of Florida State Senator Joe Negron's State University listening tour. Today he visited with the University of South Florida. He spoke with USF President Judy Genshaft and heard from students, faculty, and administrators. The tour ends tomorrow with visits to three more Florida universities. It's spring in Florida and there's new life at Busch Gardens. We're getting our first look at two new baby sloths. Neither of them have names yet. You can meet the sloths at Busch Gardens in the coming weeks. That's all we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.